Hey folks, today we're going to try and adjust the speed on this Kundo electronic clock from Germany. Alright, this is a Kundo electronic number 825. I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but it's uh, Kenninger in Oberfell. St. Georgian Schwarzwald, Germany. All right, and I will um, get a close-up of this and paste the images so you can read it better. All right, let me give you a close-up here. All right, this is the pendulum setup. There is a battery system underneath, so I'm just going to tip that up. And another reason I have to tip that up is to remove these latches so that I can take this piece off to adjust that pendulum right there. But this is the setup, the control board here. Uh, all these latches, I should actually be able to do this from a stand-up position. I've got this one here, and then this one right here. So we're just going to lift this up. And let me uh, do a little bit better close-up here. All right, here's the pendulum setup right here, and you can see there's the plus and the minus. And I'm going to adjust this to see if I can get this to uh, slow down. All right, so this is really going to be a trial and error. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two three, all right, four. I'm going to turn this four times, and uh, what I will need to do now is to adjust the time. So right now it is exact, it's a noon time. So I'm going to stop this right here. I'm just going to bring this forward. And then this here, if the cover was already on the start, you wouldn't really have to do anything to stop this. But uh, if it wasn't going, you just tap it a little bit. It'll get going on its own. So now I'm going to, I will put the cover back on. So I've turned that four times. And actually, you know what? Before I put this cover on, I'm going to uh, clean this up a little bit. Alright, so this will, this will be the first test. Uh, I turn that four times. I'm going to set this right in here. Lock this into place. And I will set this up and check to see um, how it does on keeping track of time. And we'll let you know. Hey folks, it's been a couple of days now. And completely guessing, turning this pendulum part this weight that you see right here in the center, I turned that four times. Uh, and now this is actually keeping a very, very accurate time. Now over two days, uh, it's probably uh, a minute, minute and a half behind, but only because uh, when I adjusted it, I had to move it, it stopped, and I brought it over here. But beyond that, uh, it's about as close to accurate as it gets. So actually, I'm very happy with that. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to say this video was a success on adjusting this clock. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.